Podcasts. Joining us now, Saints legend Archie Manning. Archie, how are you? And I know you're excited to share the news with us that uh, Mike Dettelier is now officially a part of Sports Talk. Well, that's great news, and um, um, it's an honor for me to be on here in the <laughs> early stages. So, uh, what a what a privilege to be on with. Uh, Thank you, Archie. I appreciate Larry it. Mo- I mean, you three guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, one year you told me this. I don't know if you remember, and I always would say, "Man, growing up, you know, sports idols for me." Pete Maravich and Archie Manning. And you took a look at me and said, Mike, with all that white hair, you better not say that too many times. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I love to be – another thrill to be mentioned with my friend Pete Maravich, who, who I miss, and uh, I still maintain one of the greatest athletes I've ever oh, been around. No and uh, what a – you know, it, it bothers me a little bit. Bobby, this generation sometimes – I just kind of forget – you know, I mean, I, maybe I'm talking to a 25-year-old or something, and I'll mention Pete Maravich, and they kind of look at me like, who? And I go, oh, my God, <laughs> tell me you, you don't know who Pete Maravich is. Oh, you have Pete. seen video of Pete Maravich because uh, it just, you know, to me, he was just unbelievable. You know, Archie, I also respect it. Uh, boy, as time goes on, uh, I, I really like your appreciation uh, for UCLA coach Terry Donahue. Uh, look, the winningest coach in Pac-12 conference, uh, a big part of UCLA football history. Uh, look, he died. He was only 77 years of age. And I did not know this, but he was the first college coach to earn uh, bowl game victories in seven consecutive seasons from 83 to 89. So we're talking about building a program. He became a head coach at 31 years of age. That, that, he was kind of ahead of his time when you look at Terry Donahue. Yeah, he was, really was, and because I, I had followed Terry, um, actually, uh, my son Peyton played his first college game out in the Rose Bowl. He was a fresh, true freshman in 1994. Terry had a good UCLA team that that beat Tennessee that night, and they, you know, they they really played um, three out of the four years that Peyton was there. They played in wow. Knoxville, and then went back Peyton's senior year. Cade McNown was the quarterback, and Cade yeah. uh, is going into College Hall of Fame this year. But um, went back out to the Rose Bowl and opened the season again. Tennessee was fortunate enough to win that one. But um, I got to know Terry. Um, Pepper Rogers um, had had Terry. Terry had been an assistant on Pepper Rogers' staff. And uh, in New York one year at the, at the Hall of Fame dinner, uh, Pepper had Terry up there and got to know him. And we kept up through the years. He, he was a real servant for the National Football Foundation. We had this event out in L.A. where – Kids that haven't that want to play college football but weren't really recruited, and they have a big just a big combine day there where small colleges all over the country come in and work these kids out. And Terry kind of headed that up. But what a great guy! And uh, I've been communicating with him in the last few months during during his illness, and um, he is loved by that UCLA community and um, was a great. Co- I think one. I think he beat Southern Cal eight years in a row. Yes, one yeah. Sure and, and, and Archie, when you bring up, uh, come on, uh, Pepper Rogers. Uh, you know, I know Pepper Rogers, old school USFL, Memphis Showboats. Memphis uh, he, Showboats. He, he worked as <laughs> assistant. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, under Pepper Rogers and Dick Vermeil, everyone knows from '71 to '75. But there's no way his mama named him Pepper. I mean, does anyone know Pepper Rogers' real name? I mean, uh, come on, Archie. There's no way his mama uh, named him. I consider him. Pepper a good friend, but I didn't. I don't know his <laughs> yeah, real name. I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we lost. You know, we lost Pepper uh, just in the last uh, in the last year yeah. or so. It's frankly also I kept up with Pepper too. Unfortunately, he he had a fall. Frankly. He had a fall. And, and never woke up. But now, college football, Bobby, you know this. My all of you, Scott, there's a lot of characters in college football. But <laughs> yep. Pepper, Pepper takes his spot. He takes his spot right there with anyone. Kept Pepper was a character. Archie Manning, Saints legend here on Sports Talk. Archie, I'm curious to know your opinion on the name, image, and likeness that college athletes can now uh, profit off of their name, image, and likeness. Do you think it's good or bad for college sports? Well, in the last few months and um, kind of keeping up with it and, you know, my position with the Football Foundation, I kind of want to be on top of things. I, I'm basically saying I don't like it. I'm saying I, I don't see how it's going to be good for college football. Now, look, I, you know, I, I understand there's some college players that need maybe need a little more spending money and, and so forth. But 
Um, and, I, and I know there's coaches out there that make just millions of dollars and that makes people mad. So I, I guess I understand sometimes where the, the people that put this, this through, but I, I just don't know how they're going to govern it. Um, you know, I, I wish we'd have got a little better head head start on it. It looks like the NCAA doesn't have any, any control, not going to be able to do anything with it. So, you know, it's just we, we I don't think we really know what we're in store for. Um, the whole Miami team is going to get a what a six thousand dollar pop here to to endorse something. Um, you know, how, how, how's that going to grow? Now, and, and how's it how's it going to work into recruiting where they say, yeah, you know, we you you, you come and, and play here. And we assure you, you'll be making this much a year. So we're, we're turning college football in, in a little bit into pro football, and I and I'm not sure the mix is real good with the portal too. Yeah. Um, the portal kind of concerns you. And so here we got we got free agency there, and we got a a salary situation uh, with the uh, Neil. So. It's a big change in college football. I, well, well, I hope it, it can stay under control and still be the great game that we that we have uh, you know grown up loving and the great game that that we do love. So we'll see. Well, Archie, uh, you look to me, uh, you're going to have the haves and the have-nots. I mean, all I know is uh, I know your prestige and how Holly uh, you were thought of that uh, you would have been well compensated, like also your grandson Arch. What? I mean, uh, come on. And now listen, we can't help it. I'm a capitalist. I mean, it just, it just, I, I know you're playing a team sport, but it, it, you know, you're going to have that. Now, uh, I, I don't think you're going to poo poo that because it's going to come out with Arch. Maybe you want to be in that scenario, but uh, he might break the bank, Arch. <laughs> I mean, Think about the the teams that won him and the prestige of being a Manning and coming to your university. I mean, Archie, I mean, you probably don't want that stress and anxiety going forward, but I guess that's good anxiety. Uh, You always want what's better for your kids and obviously your grandkids going forward. Yeah, I, I'm not looking at it like that. I know corporate Cup, needs, and I, I don't think Archie even knows what it's about. So we're, we're not going to go there. And you know, this this thing's got a couple of years to to play out. And um, you know, I want Arch to enjoy and 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 really enjoy the journey of this this high school experience. And and not, I'm not talking about the recruiting thing. I'm talking about the high school football part of it, the teammates and trying to trying to win something, trying to trying to get better. So. I, I, you know, I don't. I just don't know how we can sit here now, and and uh, we just don't know how this thing is going to play out. You know, I know there there are people that are uh, giving up their their day jobs to form little agencies, right. and you know, you're going to have agents, and and now um, uh, I guess you're going to have agents coming out of high school when you go to college, and um, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing, uh, but but it, it's here. I had a talk yesterday with a SEC commissioner, just kicking around, and you know it's 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 out there, and we're going to, uh, you know, they, they want to have some control on it. They don't want it to be a wild wild west situation. But I, there's a lot of people out there right now dreaming up ways to to get money into the college players' hands. Bobby, you know, you talked about Arch. You talked about when I played at, at Ole Miss. But that was so long ago, but. Yeah, maybe that would have been revenue for me. What about my left guard? Was he? You think was he going right. to make anything off of it? You know, I just, I just, I just don't know. No, no, and, know. and Archie, when you think about it, it could be a lot of animosity in a team sport. Now, if it's tennis or golf, that's different. But a team sport, you're going to have the haves and have nots. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I worry about that. I worry about the locker room now. I worry about the locker room. Um, I've got an agent. Well, why, well, my agent's not doing that for me. I want to get your agent. Uh, or I'm gonna fire my agent. I'm gonna get. I want to get this yeah. agent because he's getting me a, a deal with Burger King, and but you no, know, he he's got a deal with McDonald's. I, you know, I just don't know where it's going. And, and like I said, that you throw the portal in with this. This portal now. I mean, you know, I was talking to Mac Brown, and um, Mac said, you know, we could be playing. North Carolina State, our cross-state rival. And my sophomore running back runs for 150 yards against them. And after the game, they could talk to him and say, look, you got another year of college. 
come play for us. And I, you know, I know this business there is going to assure you this much in, in meal money and he can go, he yep. can go. And it, it doesn't seem, it, it doesn't seem right. Well, it's like professional sports instead of amateur, obviously. So Yeah. Yeah, it is. Arch, uh, we talk about the Manning Passing Academy, but one thing I wanted to ask you about in a few years back, uh, I remember Jameis Winston coming to the Manning Passing Academy. And, you know, Mm -hmm. think about that and where he is today. And your thoughts a little bit on sort of the fit and how to work with him and Sean. Because, you know, you've sort of gotten used to how Sean and Drew, man, they were so connected, you know. And now you bringing in somebody new. How do you feel Jameis will work in the fit? Now, he's had a year in the system, but now he's got to go out and play. And how that will work w- with him and Sean. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah Mike. Um, but I think that's a real plus. They had a year in the system. And, and I don't care. He didn't play that much. But you know, when he did, he, he, he played fine. But he, he was in that room. He was in that room for a year. And um, – that, that, that's a good room, Bobby. You know that, that's a great yep. room. I mean, we yes. start. We start with Drew. Well, we start with Sean, and, and, and you had Drew, but also you know you got Pete and uh, Lombardi's gone now. But the people that have been there a, a long time, and and and, and the other, the other quarter of Taysom. I mean that uh, that is a plus for Jameis. And and Mike, you know we we reflect back when we had him at Manning Pass yeah. Camp. I liked Jameis. I liked him a lot. Um, he's a talented kid. Um, he he had a couple of knucklehead moments in his college career. You know, now one thing about a lot of people say, no, you know, that year he threw for 5,000 yards. He threw all those interceptions. Well, I know a little something about Bruce Arians. I, and Bruce is a good friend of mine. Uh, Peyton played for Bruce Arians early in his career. But I know a couple of guys on that staff and um, in communicating with them just from time to time. Bruce, you know, when – Sometimes he just tells his quarterbacks to just just keep firing. You just know, that's kind of the way Bobby, you've had coaches like that. So don't worry about the interception. Yeah. You know, we're getting yardage, we're getting some touchdowns. You right. just keep firing. And that's kind of what he did that year. Now Sean's not gonna tell him that. No. But he's nope. gonna benefit from being in that room last year. He's gonna benefit from uh for, for playing for Sean Payton, who I think is one of the best play callers in the game. And the, and the help and support that he gets, uh, 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 not a good offensive line, a great offensive line, and and uh, unbelievable running back receivers. You know, good people around him. So uh, a lot of people ask me, and I, and I sense some people, you know, in the community doubt Jameis. Uh, I don't. Um, I don't. I, I think I think Jameis can do the job. I know he. I, I, I know Jameis is. Mat- mature enough now to know the opportunity that he has here. And it's a great opportunity. And I, and I look for him to take advantage of it. Saints legend Archie Manning. Archie, I know you guys are excited about getting back to your passing academy uh, camp n- next week, right? Yeah, we are. We start next Thursday, the 15th of July. This is the latest we've ever – this is our 25th year. We started at, we started at Tulane in 1996. That is uh, awesome. And uh, – um, Peyton Manning was a sophomore at Tennessee. Cooper Manning had just graduated from Ole Miss, was coming back home. Eli was a – Eli – no, Peyton was going into his junior year in Tennessee. I think Peyton was going into his sophomore year at Newman High School. And you know who two of our first campers were? Like, we didn't have but 185 that first year at Tulane. Buddy Tevens was the head coach. Jeff Hawkins was his recruiting guy, and they were my – Camp guys, and they still are. Twenty five years buddy later, buddy ball, but yeah, buddy uh, Major Applewhite was a camper, University of Texas, he was, he Baton was, Rouge, he was a senior, <laughs> senior at Catholic High in Baton Rouge. Um, help me out, Patrick Ramsey was a camper, Whoa. senior at Rustin Rustin High School there. Yeah, so yeah, you know, what those guys are now. What are they, 40, 42, 43 years old? Yeah, you so. think Patrick Ramsey won Tulane, the Redskins, a, a Washington football team now to say it right? But, Arch, you know what I want to uh, I want, I want to thank you uh, for keeping this because you can move this camp anywhere in the country, and Orlando would be very attractive. But to keep this in Louisiana and Thibodeau, I know Lafouche Parish, that's where I was born and raised. I know we appreciate that, that you've done this and what you've done for Nickel State and the local economy. 
I mean, uh, to well, me, the, the, we, th- th- that is it, that it, is huge. It, everybody knows how nice the people are down there, and they they have been just awesome to us. And we had a, we had a one year at Tulane. And then we were nine years over in Hammond at Southeastern, and they had a wonder, wonderful school, good people. But we go down to Thibodeau, and they've just they opened their arms. So, yeah, we had a chance to go to Disney, but, um, you know, we just uh, – my boys – the one thing I'm proud of at this camp, and I think the reason we, we have credibility, is Cooper Payton and Eli uh, in the 25 years. Eli, you know, he was a camper, but no one has missed one minute of this camp. All, all three have been there That's 100% awesome. of the time. And so have Buddy Tevens and Jeff Hawkins. But those people in Thibodeau have treated us so great, so wonderful. And we've been able to, you know, in, in, improve the fields down there. Uh, their facilities get getting better. they got a great new young athletic director there. Their football program and Tim Rebo is, is, is solid and, and but so much improved. So it, it's a good, it's a good fit for us. And, uh, you know, the, the kids that we bring down the, from all over the country, their parents, their grandparents, our college quarterbacks that we bring in every year, uh, they love being in Thibodeau and being at Nickel State. So it, it's a good fit. Now, uh, Archie, how involved are you uh, now with your grandson? Like I said, you always want what's best for your kids and then your grandkids and then you, you, you always want what's best for them. How involved are you compared to Cooper with Arch and uh, his recruitment? I mean, uh, to me, it's a mind-boggling. I mean, come on, Arch, you don't give me no BS that you're not somewhat involved. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd kind of want to, Bobby, but it's it's not the place for me. And you know, you know, Cooper was a was a good high school athlete, had a chance to play college football, and then his his little brothers did get to play and. He kind of got cheated out of it, but, you know, that's life. I, but I, I've often told people, I always admired Cooper's spirit and his attitude and the way he dealt with that. He always had a good spirit about it. And I, I look at it a little bit. This, this is a little back there, you know, the farts come along. And actually his daughter May uh, uh, was on a state championship volleyball team. His other son had his – is a center on the knee. We, uh, Bobby, we finally got an offensive lineman. Yeah. In family. High, hey, high I got to see him, Arch. I, I got to see him at the Louisiana line camp. I got to see him with the with the Bordelow boys. The Louisiana line camp. I was so I was so proud of that. We we were proud to have to have a lineman. But anyway, Cooper has handled this. You know, the world has changed since Cooper went through recruiting. Since Peyton went through. Since right. you went through recruiting. Since yep. Peyton Eli went through recruiting. I mean, it has changed. And and Arch got thrown in and, and, and played well as a freshman, but he didn't need to be wrapped up in recruiting at that point. And Cooper just shut it down. And, and it was and Nelson Stewart at Newman helped do that, and it, that, that was the way to do it. And then they kind of got through their second year, which was a tough year for everyone, pandemic year. But but now the chance for him to visit a few schools and see what that's like, it's still different. I mean, it's still different. Um, here he is going into his junior year. I don't think Peyton Manning even started getting letters from schools until uh, during his junior year. Whoa. You know, so he's, he's it's already uh, a lot different. But he's handling it good. He, he likes to play. And he's a sweet kid, and he's got his head all right. I, I, I love something the other day. They put out a group of players, and it, it had their name and weight and all this kind of stuff in their Twitter account. And I, it was like the top ten players in Louisiana or something. And he was the only one that doesn't have a Twitter account. I said, okay, I kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> Legendary Saints quarterback, Archie Manning. Archie, thanks for the time, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Archie. Appreciate it, bud. Look forward to having y'all. Thanks for having me.